Hey, Chef Billy Parisi here with Bob's Red Mill. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I'm going to show you how to make an absolutely delicious gluten-free polenta cake. I know what you're thinking. Polenta should be used as a side dish or under some sort of meat, but I promise in this dessert, it's absolutely amazing. The first thing we're going to do is whip together some butter and some sugar. So go ahead and add in some unsalted butter to a standing mixer with a paddle attachment. Next, we're gonna sprinkle on some sugar. And what you wanna do is whip it together on low speed until it becomes nice and light and fluffy for about five minutes. While the butter is creaming together, let's go ahead and assemble our dry ingredients. As I said before, this is gluten-free, so I'm gonna be using Bob's Red Mill one-to-one gluten-free baking flour, which is the perfect sub for any of your normal gluten recipes. Simply sub out the flour for this one-to-one -one flour to make it gluten-free. Next, I'm gonna be using some gluten-free cornmeal. Obviously, this is a polenta cake. Add in some baking soda, some baking powder, a pinch of salt, and then we're gonna give it a stir. Go ahead and set that to the side, and now we wanna add in our wet ingredients to the stand mixer. We're gonna add in one egg at a time. It's gonna take about four eggs, and you wanna completely mix it in before you add in the next egg. Last but not least for the wet ingredients, we are gonna pour in some whole milk. And to finish off our batter, we simply wanna pour in our dry ingredients that we mix together very slowly while on low speed in the stand mixer. Once it is combined, transfer it over to an eight or nine inch deep cake round that's been prepared with butter. Pour it right in there. And usually I like to sort of spread around the top so it's nice and even. We're gonna go into the oven on 350 degrees. It's gonna take about 40 to 45 minutes for it to completely cook. This is great timing because while our cake is in the oven, we can make our buttercream. So go ahead and add some unsalted softened butter to the uh, clean stand mixer with the paddle attachment. We're gonna whip it together on medium speed for about four to five minutes or until it becomes nice and light and fluffy. We're gonna add in a little bit of powdered sugar, followed up by drizzling in some maple syrup. It's gonna have a really awesome flavor that's gonna complement our polenta cake. Now that everything is finished, let's go ahead and take our cake out and put it on a resting rack and cool it to room temperature. To finish off this dessert, all we need to do is add on our maple buttercream. This doesn't have to look extremely pretty or anything because we're gonna load up the top with berries. So I use a spoon and just sort of move all the buttercream around just so it covers the top really well. And like I said, we're gonna put some fresh berries right on top. I've got some strawberries, some blackberries, some raspberries, some blueberries. It's gonna look beautiful, it's gonna taste even better. No doubt that this polenta cake is absolutely gorgeous. The mixed fresh berries combined with that dark brown from the polenta cake, it is beautiful. And you get the most wonderful flavor combination from a little bit of the savory cornmeal to the wonderful maple buttercream that complements to perfection. Thanks so much for stopping by. Be sure to come back next week and see all of our great recipe videos.